Hello students, welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. In this video, I am going to answer your question number 4 from PSN and Excel A level exam for statistics 1. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WST01-01. A biologist is studying beards. The biologist records the length d centimeter and girth g centimeter of eight beards. The biologist summarizes the data as follows. Sum of d, sum of g, these values are given here. Some of the statistics for dd is also given. Calculate the exact value of sdg and exact value of sgg. Actually, for these of the statistics, uh, the formulas are given in your formula sheet. Uh, you can get help from there. Uh, let me write the formula in terms of x for you uh, for solving first part in your book and in your formula sheet uh, this formula is given like this that like this some of the statistics of x on y is equals to sum of x y minus sum of x sum of y if you memorize this formula only you can make the other other formulas from here okay uh, in first part you need to find summary statistics of d on g so s actually d is x and uh, g is y so we are replacing here so we'll get here dg same way minus sum of d and sum of y they are multiple sum of y is g so we will replace with g divide by n now just only you need to use these values what is given in the question uh, replace the values dg is given there sum of g is given sum of d is there and we know that number of beards are 8. So this is n. By using this information, plug in all these values, we get the answer as, uh, let me show the steps here. Sum of dg is given in the question 141,978.84. It is given in the question. Sum of t is given, that is 1456.8. So better use your bracket, uh, they are multiplying. Sum of G is given as well, that is 713.2 and the number of values are 8. If you write as is in your calculator, you get the answer as 12105.12. So this is the answer for some of the statistics of D on G. In second part of this question, we need to find some of the statistics of GG. So for finding this one, you know, X and Y are same GG. So this becomes square. So you can get the answer directly. Right? Like uh, for second part, you can make formula like this. Sum of some of the statistics of GG. Because both are same and both numbers multiplying, it becomes square. So you can write as square here. Okay. Instead of writing G and G. Minus sum of G multiply sum of G again. So it will be square of sum of G like this. Divide by N. So this is the formula. Actually, you need to memorize this formula only. The other formula you can get from here. Hopefully, you understand how to get it. Actually, y is the same value. Therefore, you will get this answer. Uh, now, using the values in this formula, we get the other answer as well. So summary statistics for g and g is sum of g square minus sum of g whole square divided by n. All these values are given here. Sum of G squared is given there, 72,675.98 and sum of G is 713.2. Using these two values in this formula, it is uh, 72,675.98 minus sum of G is 713.2 because it is a square. So you need to take uh, square of this. Divide by number of values, they are eight. Now write as is in your calculator, you get the answer as 9094.2. So this is the other answer as well. First part is done. Let's move on. Second part. Calculate the value of the product moment correlation coefficient between D and G. Uh, this formula is given as well in the formula sheet, but it is given in terms of uh, X and Y. Uh, let me write that formula in terms of X and Y. Some uh, moment correlation is represented by R and that is equals to in terms of X and Y is like this. SXY square root of SXX, they are multiplying SYY, okay? Uh, but we need to find uh, in terms of uh, 
D and G. So X is D and Y is G. So it will be S D G divided by summary stat statistics for D D multiply summary statistics of G and G. Now all these values are given. Actually, we got some answers in previous part as well. So using those answers here in this formula, uh, straight away we'll get the answer for R. Uh, S D G is twelve thousand one hundred five. SDG. Uh, this one, okay. You will use this value. Twelve thousand one hundred five point one two divided by SDD. That is uh, given in the question. It is sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty nine point seventy eight, and it will multiply by the value of SDG. In previous part, we got this answer, and this one SDD is given in the question. Let me show you this one. Uh, yeah. We are using this value there. Okay. Now uh, we will use this this answer here for GG. That is nine zero nine four point two. Now write as is in your calculator. You get the answer as zero point nine eight zero two. So this is the moment correlation of coefficient of D on G. Okay. Second part is done. For the next part, show that the equation of the regression line of G on D can be written as this one. Okay, you need to prove uh, this answer actually. Uh, first of all, you should know the regression line, the basic equation. Okay, you should memorize that formula in terms of x and y because these values are given in terms of x and y, and also in the formula sheet they are given in terms of x and y. Better you write as is and replace the value of uh, value of uh, x with uh, D and uh, Y with G, you know, it will be easier for you to get uh, to avoid any mistake. Let's move on and let me write the equation for Y on X. Okay, regression equation of regression line uh, Y on X. This is the basic formula. You should know. This is a regression line of Y on X. Y is equals to A plus B X. Okay. We can make the formula for G on G on D, so it will be G equals to A plus B D. You should know the how to get the value of A and value of B in terms of X and Y because these formulas are given in terms of X and Y. Here I am writing for you to for your convenience. Convenience, A is equals to Y bar minus B X bar. This is the formula for A, and how to find B? That is some the statistics of x on y divided by s x x. These are two formulas you should memorize in terms of x and y. Therefore, in terms of g and d, we can get the value of a by using this formula. Value of a will be equals to g bar. It is the mean of g minus d d bar. Okay, here is x, so here is d, so it will be d bar. And uh, you can make the formula for b as well in terms of d and g. It will be d d g divided by s d d. Now use the values uh, for uh, to get the answer of p. It is twelve thousand one hundred five point one two divided by s d d. Answer is sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty nine point seven eight. Okay, s d g. We already uh, have this answer. S d g is here. You know. In the previous part, we solved it, and S D D is given in the question. Okay, in this one, and use these two values to get the answer of B. Answer of B will be equals to 0.722. 0.722. This is the answer for B. So we can get the answer of A as well. G bar sum of uh, sum of G divided by N minus use this value instead of this one because it is the rounded answer. Uh, so I'm writing as is one two one twelve thousand one hundred five point one two divided by sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty nine point seventy eight, and here you can write sum of D divided by N. Okay, now sum of G. It is given in the question again seven hundred thirteen point two divided by number of values eight divided by eight minus. Twelve thousand one hundred five point one two divided by sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty nine point seven eight. 
here it is multiplying sum of d is there uh, let me show you sum of d in the question yeah this one sum of d is uh, 1456.8 1456.8 divided by number of values 8 okay better use bracket here now write as is in your calculator uh, just don't mix it up this is the answer of b uh, so we get the answer of a as actually your calculator will give you the answer as minus 42.2973 best thing you should round uh, this answer to three significant figures so this will be equals to minus 42.29 will be rounded up so it will be 3 2 becomes 3 okay so this is the answer for a now we will use these two values in this main equation of regression line value of a and b here straight we will get the answer of uh, our regression line as required g will be equals to minus 42.3 value of b is 0 0.722 plus 0 0.722 and t so this is the regression line as required so it is proved okay we need to prove that the regression line is equals to minus 42.3 plus 0 0.722 so we got the result for the next part d give an interpretation in context of the gradient of the regression line uh, in the regression line b is the gradient actually okay and uh, what is G and D? Actually, D is the length of the beer. Uh, you know, this is the length of the beer. Okay. And girth is uh, like it is called a circumference. Uh, let me show you. Uh, this is called the girth, girth of the beer. Okay. So, G. Like uh, girth is increasing by 0 0.722 centimeter for every 1 centimeter increase in length. So, this B is the gradient. If you remember, gradient formula. The basic formula for gradient in terms of X and Y, uh, you know, uh, we know that it is a rise over run, change in Y and change in X. Uh, we know that we have B here, gradient is 0 0.722. So, here, actually, this B is, uh, you can say, delta G, okay, for delta D change in D change in G so we can say uh, this one is 0 0.722 centimeter for guts is increased by 0 0.722 centimeter for one centimeter increase in length okay uh, we can write here how to interpret interpret this uh, this contest the gradient we can say the girth of pier the girth of pier is increased by increased by 0 0.722 centimeter for every one centimeter increase in length actually delta d is the length and delta g is the girth every one centimeter increase in increase in the length of length of the pier okay Hopefully you understand this, how to interpret this answer. So this is enough, it is only one mark. Uh, so this is part D. Next part, using the equation of regression line given in part C, this one. First part, estimate the girth of the beer with length 2.5 meters. 2.5 meters is uh, about 250, just multiply by 100. So it is 250 centimeters. As I told you, D is, length is the D. So, D equals to 250 centimeters. If you use this value in this equation, you will get the girth actually. You will get the estimate of the girth. So, G will be equals to minus 42.3 plus 0 0.722 multiply 250. Uh, right, as is in your calculator, you get the answer for G as 138.2 centimeters. So, this will be the girth of the beer. Next part, explain why an estimate for the girth of the beer with length 0 0.5 meter is not reliable. 0 0.5 meter length means uh, D value. Value of D is equals to multiply by 100. You get as 50 centimeter. Now use this value there. Uh, we will see. Let's see the answer. We are getting here. Oh, I think uh, we'll get the negative answer because of this. It is very small value. 
so negative uh, answer negative words does not mean anything so it is not reliable actually multiply 50 we get the answer as minus 6.2 centimeters so it is not reliable not reliable it is not reliable due to due to negative gut okay negative gut does not mean anything last part of this question using the regression line from part c the biologists estimate that for each x centimeter increase so x centimeter is increase in the length so delta d is there x centimeters of a beer there will be 17.3 centimeter increase in the girth so this x value is increase in length we can say this is delta d and this 17 point centimeter is increased in length so we can say this value 17.3 centimeter is delta g it is increased in the girth so we know that uh, value of b we already got in the previous part uh, that is 0 0.722 we can use that value there and straight away we will get the answer for value of x last part let me show you all these steps here part f we know that value of b is 0 0.722 okay this is the value of b it is uh, from the part c we know that this b we can write as as i told you in the previous part here this is delta g over delta g equals to 0 0.722 okay now delta g is given there in the question that is 17.3 centimeters this one is delta g okay and delta d is x replace the values delta g is 17.3 divided by x equals to 0 0.722 uh, you can interchange these two values to get the answer of x therefore x will be equals to 17.3 divided by 0 0.722 Straight away, we will get the answer for x that will be equals to 23.96 in your calculator, but you can round it up uh, to 24 centimeters. Okay. So, this will be the answer for the last part of this question. Hopefully, you understand question number four. Still, if you have any doubt or any comment about this question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.